Hello everyone and welcome to Dino Outdoors. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Minn Kota trolling motor to your Hummingbird Fish Finder in just five easy steps. So let's begin. Before beginning this process, make sure you have an ethernet cable extension you're going to need this to run from your trolling motor to your fish locator. You're also going to need this Hummingbird Ethernet Cable Adapter, which I'll have links down in the description below for you guys to check out. Step number one, make sure your Minn Kota trolling motor and your Hummingbird Fish Finder are compatible. How do you know if your trolling motor and your fish finder are compatible? Well, on your trolling motor, you're going to see iPilot link. It must state link on the head unit. And if you look at the back side of your Hummingbird fish finder unit, you're going to find a service tag with a serial number on it. And what you're looking for is the G4N, yours might say G3N, but it must have the N after the G4 or G3. The N stands for networking, which means that your unit's compatible. So once you have confirmed that your units are compatible, we can move on to step two. Step two, connect one end of your ethernet cable extension to your ethernet cable wire coming from your trolling motor. How do you know which one? Because you're gonna have two coming off of this particular model. The bigger plastic end one is for your mega down imaging and the smaller with metal ring collar on it is your ethernet cable. These wires are keyed inside so they can go only one way. So line up the two slots, push it together and lock them down. Step three, this is the fun part right here. You're going to need to feed that cable all the way back to where your head unit sits for your fish locator. In my case, it's back here behind the helm. So you have to get those wires run from up there back to here. And the easiest way I have found to do this is with a wire puller. I use this one here. It's a fiberglass cable. I like to use the fiberglass one because instead of the metal one, because it doesn't, uh, it won't scratch your boat if you accidentally bump up against some of your paint, I find it more flexible and a little bit easier to use than the metal ones. I'm gonna start by feeding mine back through here, reaching in and then I can grab it through my little compartment storage here. I'm then gonna feed it up underneath the gunnel where there's already some wires run for my trolling motor. Back behind this pad here It'll go down behind the console and then it'll come up behind the head unit. All right, we got the end of the ethernet extension cable here. Step four, locate your Hummingbird ethernet cable adapter and connect it to your ethernet cable extension. Again, this cable is slotted, so it can only go in one way, so don't force it. Line up the grooves and then snug up the collars. For step five, if you guys have the junction box on the newer um, Hummingbird units, you can remove the back cover, locate the ethernet cable slot, replace the back cover. Just two screws that mount on the back side here. And reconnect your junction box. All we got left to do is power on our unit. Wait a few seconds for it to locate your trolling motor.
Also want to note while you're waiting for this, uh, make sure your trolling motor is powered up. Otherwise it will not detect it. So you see now a trolling motor connected. Takes a few seconds, so be patient. Now when you press the power button once and let go, you can see you have your trolling motor options up at the top here. You can deploy it, which I don't want to do right now because I'm inside my garage and uh, probably hit the top of my garage door, which wouldn't be a good idea. So now when you go into your menu buttons here, under your accessories, you can go to Minn Kota Motor Settings. You can upload your data, motor navigation on or off. You can deploy your Altera from here. And then once your um, Choi motor is deployed and running, you can set the cruise, the speed, uh, you can set the cruise waypoints, you can do eye tracks. Anything that you can do from your remote, you can do now on your Hummingbird Fish Finder, which is really nice because with this, with the Altera, I can be sitting back here, as soon as I shut off the engine, I can hit deploy Altera, can set it to my eye tracks that I made, start following them at a certain uh, cruise speed, and I can go back and start setting up my trolling rods. Well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, I'll have a link to everything that was used here today in the description as well, so you can get yours hooked up and start using your Hummingbird Fish Finder to navigate your trolling motor. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up as it helps support my channel. As always, thanks for watching, and remember to get outdoors with Dino.